Today's rant's brought to you by the Home Theater Company, audio, video, and home theater. Go online, hometheatercompany.com. Be sure and check out today's podcast if you don't like that. I get into the Aaron Rodgers situation, dissect Mark Murphy, the president and CEO, and his comments quoting Ted Thompson saying that Aaron Rodgers is a complicated fella. That and cancel culture on today's podcast if you don't like that. All right, Milwaukee Bucks fans. I don't want to hear any more about your team if you can't close out this series. Tonight is game five. Irving's hurt. Harden's hurt. The table could not be set any better. Here's what we do know. Mike Budenholzer will not be the coach of the Bucks if they don't win two of the next three games. And I don't want to hear about Giannis Adetokounmpo. I don't want to hear about the Greek freak this, the Greek freak that. The table is right there for you. Could not be set any better. You got to close out the deal. And if Giannis wants to elevate himself into the upper tier of NBA players, if he wants to be on the same level as a LeBron and a Durant, you got to win some freaking playoff series. The Bucks and Budenholzer have been a miserable failure the last couple of years. Same story in Atlanta with Coach Bud. I mean, couldn't get the job done there either. And again, no excuses now if you're a Bucks fan. No excuses at all. You got to win this series and then see what happens from here. But it would be the same old story for the Bucks. And again, all the pressure right now is on Mike Budenholzer. His job is firmly on the line. And if you can't beat these Nets with their injuries after what happened in New Atlanta and after what happened the last couple of years, if I'm a general manager and I'm looking for a coach, sorry, Coach Bud, you're not going to be on my list. Not at all. Hey, if you like what I'm saying, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And do me a favor, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much, as always, for watching Grant's Rant.